math time. Hey guys, it's Mr. Graham. We're about to do some math. Math is cool. It's not so hard either. If you just pay attention, give it a shot, you know, practice makes perfect, all that stuff. Today we're going to talk about two things. We're going to talk about PEMDAS, which is order of operations, and we're going to talk about uh, multiplying fractions. Uh, both of them are simple enough that you can do it once. It's only hard, like, you know, if you fall asleep or something. Hopefully this video will help you review or preview, if you're quick enough, uh, and, and get better at these things. All right, here we have two separate uh, number sentences, and we have to evaluate both of them. In both cases, we have to remember PEMDAS. P is for uh, parenthesis. That's about that right? Yeah. E is for exponents. D is for division, but it's tied. Division is actually tied with multiplication. And then uh, the AS at the end, where should I put that? I'm going to put that uh, to the side over here. Is for addition and subtraction. And addition and subtraction are actually tied also. No. Ugh, darn it. I want it to fit perfectly. It's not listening to me. There you go. Cool. So PEMDAS. Uh, P, E, M, D, I guess I should have put multiplication first, whoops, A, and S, PEMDAS, and that tells you what order you're supposed to do things in number sentences, and when I say these two are tied, and these two division and multiplication are tied, what I mean is, just like you read a book from left to right, you read a number sentence from left to right. So whatever you see first when it comes to these two, you do first because they're tied. But if you see something above it anywhere in the number sentence, you got to do that first because there is an order to the, these operations. So here in this first one, we have 4 times 1 plus 5. Well, multiplication right there comes before addition, which is right there. So we would do multiplication first. 4 times 1, that equals 4. Now you're just left with the plus 5 that we didn't touch yet. 4 plus 5 equals 9, simple as pie, we're all done. Let's look at this one, slightly more difficult. Uh, look around here and what do you think you do first? What do you suppose you do first? Division. Division, not the addition, not the addition. Division comes first in PEMDAS. So division first. 8 divided by 4 equals 2. We still have that 9 plus, and we still have that plus 1 at the end. You can't forget those pieces. If we add them all together, 9 plus 2 is 11, plus 1, that gets you 12. If you do things in the wrong order, you could very easily get the wrong answer. So the order is important. Uh, one of the main things we're learning this week is the role that parentheses plays. Parentheses is the boss of PEMDAS, because PEMDAS starts with P for parentheses. It's always first. So if you see something in parentheses, do it immediately. 1 times 5, for example, that equals 5. Then you just got your 9 plus all together. That'll get you 14. Over here, immediately do the parentheses. 1 times 7, that is 7. Don't forget your 9 plus 9 plus. So 9 plus 9 is 18. I'm just going to write that. And don't forget this plus sign right here. He can come straight down. 18 plus 7, that's going to get you 25. So working with these kinds of things, that's not so bad. As long as you remember, PEMDAS, parentheses, exponents. Multiplication and division are next, but they are tied. Addition and subtraction are last, and they are tied. So it's whatever you see first when you read from left to right. Then, then, little added bonus content, multiplying fractions. Okay, okay, so take a breath. <sighs> PEMDAS is cool and all, but just take a breath. <sighs> and prepare yourself for multipl multiplying fractions. You know what? I'm going to save that for the next video. So make sure you turn it, you tune in. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.